Hi, Alison. Welcome. What's your play called? In Lieu of Flowers. Huh. When did you write this play? I started writing it right before the pandemic, which turned out to be pretty poor timing. Oh, really good timing. What, uh, what inspired you to write this play? Why did you write it? Uh, my dad died when I was 18, and I felt very disoriented and have never really figured out how to put that into words, so I wrote a whole play about it instead. Yeah. Now, you've written what I would call uh, a dark comedy. Is that a fair summation? More dark than comedy, but fairly fair. Yeah. And what does it mean to you that this play is being produced by the Highland Arts Theatre and Neptune Theatre at this time? Uh, something that you would tell me when I was a child and I'd say you were crazy. <laughs> What's the name of the lead character? Eddie. What is Eddie? Uh, Eddie is probably the most like me in the show. Eddie's a version of myself if I had maybe made some different choices. What's Eddie going through in the show? Uh, Eddie's brother has very recently passed away. Right. So a different relationship to what sort of gave you the germ of an idea about wanting to write this play? Yeah, losing my dad was uh, really difficult. We were really, really close. And so I kind of took that and flipped it to a sibling relationship because I'm also very close with my sibling. How do you feel about the cast of this show? Disgusting. <laughs> no, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> You've worked with some of them before? I've worked with almost all of them before. Wonderful. Who's working on this play? Uh, Anne-Marie Kerr, recent Semenovich Prize nominee, is directing. We have an amazing design team. Have you seen the set design for this show? I haven't. You haven't seen the set I design? I haven't. When are you going to see that? I guess on Tuesday. Are you going to be in rehearsal? Yes. Are you going to be in rehearsal a lot, or are you being thrown out of the room? Uh, they've told me I can be there a lot, but I think they're going to make the choice to throw me out at some point. What do you think you're going to be like in the room? Are you going to be tweaking things, playing with things, suggesting things, or are you going to keep your mouth shut? I'm going to keep my mouth shut for the most part, but I'll be tweaking as I go. Yeah. It's, it's tough to keep your mouth shut when it's your piece, when it's your creation. Yeah. I find it usually much more difficult when I'm talking. What are you going to do on opening night to celebrate the opening of your play? I bought a really fancy flower pin that's made out of Spanish porcelain. Is there any significance to that? I liked it. That's good significance. When does the play open? Uh, February 7th. How can people buy tickets? NeptuneTheatre.com or calling the box office. I think I might come. Oh, man. I think you should come, too. I think of all the shows in, in the Neptune season this year, this one and the one that opens soon after are the ones I'm most excited about. Ask me why. Why? Well, because they're brand new plays written by people that we know and love here at Neptune Theatre. You're part of our family and now you've written a play and we get to see it on stage. You should come and be part of the audience of a play at the very beginning of its life. It's an exciting night. <laughs>